Hi everyone, today we'll go over the trick you can use to disclose sensitive data in Firebase databases. Um, this trick involves using the database URL and appending a .json at the end. Um, first, let's go over the development side and why this works. So, in real-time databases, in the rules section, what happens is um, developers leave the database in test mode. So if I delete all of this, I want to keep this. So let's cut that. And there we go. So if I publish this, I go to our Firebase URL, push enter. All my data is exposed. Oh no. So, there is another way you can expose sensitive data if the database isn't left in test mode. By the way, there is no reason this should ever get to production. So, if it does and you find it, lucky you. The other way data can be exposed is if the child attribute is specified with no auth. Um, so it's like this. And let's see, I got, I think I yep, got everything I need. Now if I go back to my URL, the, the regular JSON trick won't work anymore. It'll give me permission to not denied, but if I if I'm brute forcing these endpoints, I can still find the ones that are insecure or the JSON um, child attributes that are insecure with only, with read permissions with no authentication. Okay, now that I showed you how this works on the development side, I will show you how I use it in my CTF challenge. In my ninth CTF challenge for injured Android what I did was reference the database child flags which I showed you how you can um, you can read and after I reference it I have a submit form which compares a edit text field to the uh, value in the database this is where this is where it's getting um, stored, like the text, the first text field on the form is getting stored from the user input. And then this is where the value in the database is getting pulled and stored. So if they, if they equal the same, then um, it's the correct flag. And it'll display the screen saying, Congratula congratulations, you found the flag, woo! So. Let me show you that in action. Another thing I want to note is while reviewing the source code for Android applications, look for the database child um, attribute because that could lead to disclosure. Okay. And another thing is this helps with developing and with um, finding potential logging uh, information disclosure, which also could be sensitive, depending on you know what the devel developers are logging. So my, in my VM, I'll go to Flag9 Firebase, click on that. This is the submit form I'm talking about. I'll type in the flag value, which also gets printed here. And yep, so it's test. And this is actually, I mean, this is for testing purposes only, so I'm deleting this um, before I release this challenge. But you, ideally, you would not want to put this here because if you click, if you go into this method, and so you click the button, it would display it anyway. It would tell you what the flag was. And that is why I'm not doing it. So thank you for watching, and I hope you learned some useful information to help you with your 
security testing bug bounty pen testing journey um until next time see you later